Yeah, I'm going off the driveway, Dad. Muddy mess out here. <clears throat> um, up to the end of the truck here. In the Ford diesel. Um, I found a crack in the fuel filter. Uh, tire's flat on it, by the way. Um, it's a piece of junk tire. Let's see what's flat here. Let's see. It's a shot. Tires are shot. Let's see if I can show the crack on there. I don't know if I can. I doubt I can. You, the camera can even see the damn thing. It's like. still there. The battery should be taken out for the winter. I should take it out actually. Um, it's uh, on top here but I can't. It's around this thing here. I can't see that LC screen. It's like cracked little fine cracks around here and it's not leaking much feel. It's just air coming out there. I mean, um, Sprayed some stuff on there to see if the air bubbles come out. My guy like does. And there's already air in the lines again. I just pressed the thing. It's been sitting here since the last time I started it, probably about four weeks ago. That's my dad leveling off the thing, like I said. Man. And there's still air in it. But yeah, it, uh, I'm not starting it. And, uh, I'm not messing with it because uh, it's not good. Start with one battery. 8, 8 of 11 dry cell battery. Yep. Now we'll get her going one of these days, guys. You just have to you know, bear with me. It's already winter, so I won't be able to start to focus on here so dark. Well, it's still sitting there. Semis. Dump truck. Oh, we, uh, my dad was just saying it's too bad we couldn't get it going this year. It'll be next year. Yeah, I got 50,000 views on that video I put on there almost a year ago. About six months ago, maybe, or something like that. So, we will start it next time. He's starting to mag them to 7140 now. But, uh, yeah, it's another time. It's. We gotta get in over here. I'll show you what we gotta do first. Got it started. The magnum, he said the batteries are shot, and it already is a second pair since it was new. See, it's 40 degrees out almost. And it's uh, November 25th or something today, or 26th or something. 27th. Um. Right here is a battery. This is an air starter system, but the battery needs to work in order for the open the solenoid for the fuel injector pump. So that's the reason why I didn't start. We used ether and it started with it but it wouldn't start because it wouldn't get fuel because there's no power going to the solenoid to activate the fuel system. So and it may have a fuel pump on it, I don't know. So yeah we just left it unhinged there. But uh can't really see in there. Yeah, she's seen better days, but she does drive really beautiful. Runs really good. There's the engine. The engine looks like she's seen better days, but actually it runs beautiful. Once we get it going next year, guys, you will be absolutely stunned how it sounds. It smokes a hell of a lot at first, you know, a Cummins does. And here comes that Cummins 7140 right now. He's got the stack mover. He's going to oil it. Oh, the tire runs flat. Yeah, they don't look too good either, do they? We haven't driven this for two, three years. About that. Oh, she's separating here. She came off there. Good. Rotting out.
last hit here, so Jack is dirty. Kind of get over here so you guys get away from the noise of the tractor. I know you guys want a farm tour, but I don't want to do that without my dad's permission, so I'll have to ask first. Well, here's our other machine shed right here. Here's the Peterbilt. Everybody's been asking if we've been running this all year. Yes, we ran it for weed harvest, uh, soybean, and corn harvest. Uh, it just sits most of the winter because we don't farm in the winter, so. Uh, it was a elevator's truck. It's been in a couple accidents since before we got it. That's why the hood is all dented up. It's got 1,694,000 miles on it. It is a 377, I think it is, cap. In there. 1990. This is not the original trailer, of course. We just bought it separately with the truck. Got some snow on here, don't we? A little bit. I want to show you guys this thing here. I moved it. Here's an old Briggs and Stratton engine, probably a 70s. We used uh, for the elevator. We used to use it and start as the pull rope. It, it's not seized. But it's been sitting out in the... There's somebody shooting down there. It's been sitting out here for probably a good uh, 10 years or 5 years. I can't see. It's too dark out here. Chokes don't work too good. Governor's stuck. But it used to run not too good, it, but it has power. It's about an old 70s unit. You know, it's old. It's uh, not the original engine, of course. We've swapped the other engine out with a gray engine on there before. Or another silver. No, it was a tan one. 8 horsepower. This is a 16, I think. Kind of farm tour. Look at that house way over there. It's not my lives in it. Yeah, this is the um, elevator we use here. Auger. I don't know what it, what brand it is. It's, it does it say Westfield. My grandpa bought that like brand new when he was alive. That was probably nineties, probably. We use that all the time. We have no room to store it inside. Let's see if you guys can see it. This is Westfield. What's the number? I don't know, we haven't did much to it. Tires are original. We haven't did anything. We replaced the belt maybe once. It's kind of bent up a little bit. Where right, we got it, I guess. There's the dent there. It doesn't affect the performance of it at all. And this is our farm all the way down to them trees and then our fields like way, way down there where our cornfield was where we're combining. There's the old cultivator for the Model A pup cut right there. You guys probably want to see that. This is where we drove the Model A pup cut over here probably five years ago, ten years ago and 
just add it here because the cultivator we didn't want it inside the machine shed taking up space. So we just put it on there and it's been sitting there since. That's the cultivator that my grandpa used to cultivate the field with it. And that was really a big thing back then. The 50s or whatever, the 40s, whatever new tractor it is. And we have an old gravity box here, a wood one there. My tree got struck by lightning. You can tell that it's all black. Let's see if I can zoom in. See, it's black there. It's struck, it got struck a long time ago from lightning. Yeah, usually it does out here at the farm. It's loud when it lightnings out here. Oh yeah, heavens yeah. <laughs> yep, we've had it struck our hay bales before and catch them on fire, and then we try to put them out, and it almost struck us. Does that all the time. Yeah, there's an old wood white wall tire I can get through it. Here's an old log splitter or something there. A bunch of nice cool things out here. They're making that old white wall tire. Are they still up on the tires? Oh my god, the tire's still holding air. Holy crap, that thing's been sitting out there for about 10 years. Oh my god, that's crazy. Bunch of junk back here. This wood is still pretty good. It's been sitting out in the rain. That tire's still holding there. Wow. They don't make that stuff like that anymore. I love them white wall tires. And their tire blew out over there. This is a homemade trailer, it looks like. Huh. Yeah, it's still holding there. Not much, but. Hmm. Pretty cool. Little feed bunk there. 